What exactly is homeopathy? Does it work? And what does the science say? Homeopathy is a system of alternative medicine created in the late 18th century by the German doctor Samuel Hahnemann. There are three basic principles of homeopathy. The first is that like cures like, that a substance taken in small amounts will cure the same symptoms it causes if it were taken in larger amounts. So for example, if you are having trouble sleeping, then taking a stimulant like caffeine will help. The second, dilution, is perhaps the most well-known aspect of homeopathy. The chosen substance is repeatedly diluted in alcohol or distilled water until very little or none of the original substance is left. According to homeopaths, this makes the substance more powerful or gives the substance a higher potency. The third principle, succussion, describes the method of vigorously shaking the substance each time it is diluted. This shaking is supposed to help the water retain the memory or vibrations of the original substance during the dilution process. Let's look at each of these a bit more closely. The first principle, that like cures like, was based on Hahnemann's own observation, reflection and experience. However, there is no scientific evidence to support or back up this claim. The second principle, dilution, is perhaps the most problematic. The typical homeopathic dilution is 30C. This means that the original substance has been diluted by one drop in a hundred, 30 times over. Or to put it another way, a dilution of one in 10 to the 60th. This is one part per million 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 million. In comparison, there are only around this many molecules of water in an Olympic sized swimming pool. A 30C dilution would be the equivalent of one molecule or substance in a sphere of water with a diameter of 150 million kilometers, which happens to be the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Some homeopathic remedies have a dilution of 200C, which is more than the total amount of atoms in the universe. How do homeopaths respond to these criticisms? This is where the third principle comes in, succussion. They argue that the vigorous shaking and striking of the substance on an elastic or leather surface not only makes it more potent, but also allows the water to retain a memory of the original substance. While it is true that water molecules will form structures around a molecule dissolved in them at room temperature, the everyday random motion of water molecules means that these structures are very short-lived, with lifetimes measured in picoseconds, or even less. This is further problematic when you consider that any water will have been in contact with millions of different substances throughout its history. How does the water forget these substances, but remember only the homeopathic one? Despite all this, homeopathic medicine is incredibly popular today, with many people claiming that it has helped cure them of some illness. This can be explained by a number of things, such as the placebo effect, regression to the mean, or simply the body naturally healing itself over time. But what does the science say? A 2005 meta-analysis of 110 placebo-controlled homeopathy trials concluded that homeopathy performs no better than placebo. The American Medical Association, the UK's National Health Service and the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia have all issued statements that there is no good quality evidence that homeopathy is effective as a treatment for any health condition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn about other examples of dodgy science, then check out the book Bad Science by Ben Goldacre. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you want to help support this channel, then you can subscribe by clicking here. And you can check out my previous video on Achilles and the Tortoise by clicking here. See you next time.